and welcome to another tutorial by TechIt How To. Today I'm going to show you an assembly line for solar panels. And uh, this system doesn't spew out all its items all over the floor when the automatic crafting tables fill up. So I hope you can use this and let's get into it. Okay, um, as you can see, we're also working on some other projects here. Uh, here we're working on an elevator system. It's almost finished, so it will probably be in the next tutorial. Um, okay, what do we got here? Uh, this is uh, the assembly line system. Um, it looks quite complicated at first, I know, um, but it will go to every uh, step and show you how it works. Um, first, let's let's see how one of these automatic crafting tables is set up. <clears throat> so what do we got here? Uh, we got here some uh, wooden tube or wooden pipe, um, a cobblestone pipe, uh, iron pipe, golden pipe, and here in the back we have some smooth stone pipe and what we got here is the piece that makes it all work let me see how it was called again it's the advanced insertion pipe so what this does um, you see it's uh, the advanced insertion pipe um, what this does, uh, it gets items from above. Uh, let's see if I can. No. Uh, it gets items from this uh, diamond pipe. Uh, diamond pipe is a filter, so we can send stuff down into the project table in the automatic crafting table. And when we send items in and this thing is filled up, it will send them out through the back and. Uh, these pipes only connect to stone pipes, uh, not to the cobblestone one, so that's why this works. Uh, so it will send it out through the back, through this pipe, and into the iron pipe here, and it will uh, go on through the system. So this way it doesn't fill up the... Uh, it will fill up the automatic crafting bench, and it won't spew out all over the floor because when it's full it will just return and follow its way through the rest of the system um, it did take some time to figure out how to set this up uh, properly um, but as you can see we have a redstone engine there it's powered by a torch and here we have a nice um, gold pipe to speed things up it's not necessary, but I do recommend it because that way it will go a lot faster. Um, so let's get into how we set this stuff up. So let's see, the items go from the crystal chest into this uh, pipe and then follow its way through here. Here we have our first um, diamond uh, pipe and it goes into the first crafting table, uh, automatic crafting table. Oh, it doesn't have a recipe. Do the other ones? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, okay, as we can see here in the filter, we have copper and rubber uh, going into the black part of the pipe. So that's the bottom. Um, this thing was set up, but I guess I accidentally removed it. Um, so let's take some rubber and some copper okay so what do we do we make uh, this stuff come through here into the diamond pipe and then we make a recipe oh my god I screwed this up <laughs> let's see yeah I like that that's better Okay, so now we got uh, a recipe for copper cables. So 
when we send some of this stuff in, let me put that in there, um, it will be pumped out, sent through the pipe, into here, and because there's a filter in the black region, and that's why it will send it through to this one here. It will look a bit glitchy, that is, um, yeah, it's not because it doesn't work. Um, it's just the pipes, sometimes they glitch a bit. So the, what you see is not always what you get in this uh, decket with the pipes. So here you see the copper, uh, copper wire is coming out and going through the rest of the system. So let's see what we have next. Uh, so we have step one, that's making copper cables. Now we have step two, uh, that is creating furnaces. And again, we have cobblestone here. So the cobblestone comes in here, get um, sucked out by this redstone engine and will follow its way along the path. Um, into the next one and here we have uh, a second tube going a second pipe uh, going out from the top and into the iron pipe and that's because uh, we need the copper cable and redstone again um, here we are making RE batteries and that's step 3 in the process uh, RE batteries uh, so we'll need tin redstone and copper cables and uh, these three are going to the black so those are going down but we also need copper cable and redstone further along in the process so that's why we've set it up this way so a part of it goes over the top and a part of it goes straight down well um, and again it gets sucked out and sent through the system um, so let's see what do we make here here we're making machine blocks, so it will need the refined iron. And refined iron also will be sent over the top and along the path. Because we need that later on to make electronic circuits. Um, okay, on to the next one. Here we make generators. So we combine the RE batteries, machine blocks and furnaces to make an RE battery. As you can see here, that's what's in the filter. And on to the next step. Here we make electronic circuits with copper cable, redstone, refined iron. And that's also what's set in the filter. And then we have the last step that's putting it all together. So electronic circuits, the generator, glass and coal dust. Uh, by the way, glass and coal dust you have to put in, uh, in the crystal chest at the beginning and it gets pumped out and sent over here to our uh, other filter and in this filter we have set a solar panel so only solar panels will come out here here you see we get a uh, one and a quarter stack and so what this does is it will only send uh, down the solar panels and the rest of it will go up again um, what this accomplishes is that items that aren't used and put back into the system will make another circle and come back here where all of the items are put in. So here you can see we have some electronic circuits going through. Um, I don't know if they're actually going through, but uh, yeah, that's, that's how the system works. So uh, the most important part of it is that if items aren't used because the system is filled up, uh, we can we can do that now. Uh, let's see. Let's fill it up with um, r um, some cobblestone, for instance. No, some refined uh, iron. No, what can be filled up uh, easily? Some glass, for instance. So we have some stacks of glass. Chuck them all in. Now this glass will uh, go through the system, as you can see it's pumped out. 
Oh, and by the way, uh, this iron pipe is really important. Uh, it's going to this, this direction, not down. Uh, so it will come from up, uh, from upstairs, from the uh, overhead pipe and from the input chest and go in back into the assembly line. Um, so the glass is coming through all the way to the end. And here you see we have all the uh, glass filled up. So the glass will be coming through the pipe here at the back. Um, I know you will also see some other stuff going through there. Um, but that's just a glitch. Uh, it's not always working perfectly. Um, at least uh, what you see is not actually what's going through always. It's a bit glitchy and uh it will differ from system to system so i'm probably if i will log out and log back in you won't see the rubber and the uh, copper going through anymore um so you see all the glass coming through and um so now you know uh it doesn't spew out all its items because uh the coal dust and the glass is filled up but the rest isn't and uh, it isn't spewing out its items, so that's pretty neat. Um, okay, let's let's go into some more advanced uh, or neat ways to set this up. So this was this was uh, tutorial one. Uh, you can set this up uh, as you please. Um, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these stations. And that will just produce uh, solar panels. Um, I've set this up in my Let's Play world to make uh, low voltage solar arrays. And that will add two more stations. Um, so we'll have nine stations in total. And again, this is uh, the station that we replicate. Okay, let's, let's go over how we set this up uh, really neat and uh, good looking um, as you can see here we've got it set it up to make copper cables again and let's check how this looks in the back um, this is how I've set it up in my let's play world it looks a bit neater um, so what do we got here let me make it day first so you can see it a bit better um, we have again the redstone engine, the wooden pipe, I can cut this out so you can see it a bit better. Um, here we have the automatic crafting table and from the bottom we take the items and from the back we put in the items. And as you can see the advanced insertion pipe um, will put in items and if it doesn't uh, have place for it anymore as you can see we have the copper filled up all the way it will send it uh, down to this iron pipe and the iron pipe is set uh, with the output to the left here into this cobblestone pipe or uh, smooth stone no it's cobblestone pipe um, and then it sends it to the top into this iron pipe and then to the left into this golden pipe um, again this is set up uh, uh, the filters and the craft automatic crafting tables are set up exactly as they're set up over there um, so let's let's put in some more copper um, with this system I made it a bit different I've uh, let the the overhead the overflow tube uh, the overflow pipe <coughs> uh, push all its items back into this chest uh, so that you can turn off uh, these redstone engines and all the items that are left over from the crafting system uh, the automatic crafting system will end up in this tube so you can uh, in this chest so you can take them out and do something else with them um, so yeah, that's 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 probably it. Um, 
The only difference uh, between this system and this system is that you need one extra iron pipe um, and a bit less uh, of the stone pipe, I have to say. Um, I don't know which one is actually cheaper, I think this one. Um, but yeah, if you want to go to the trouble to making this, uh, it does look a lot better and you can have a room set up uh, with all this stuff really neat. So it only takes up three places. Um, so we have uh, one, uh, let's see, one, two, three. We can fly above it so you can see. Uh, one, two, three, and here we can put another uh, diamond tubing. Uh, some other diamond tube so we can fit the next station in right here <clears throat> so we can have a room set up with all this stuff um, and I will show you that in a second in my let's play world okay um, so that, that's it for the building part and now let's show you um, how I've set this up in my world Hello there, uh, now we are in our uh, Let's Play world. Um, so let's see how I've set it up here. Um, Vicky isn't here today, I'm sorry for that. Uh, but let's see, uh, here we have all the crafting tables as I showed you in the second example. And in the end uh, here we will have low voltage solar arrays. Um, so let's see how this works. Uh, we've got our dump chest here with the ingredients and a switch and now it's red so it's all off and now it's all on so let's get into this um, again we have all the recipes in here just like I showed you in uh, the tutorial before and I know this is a bit of a sneak peek because we pimped our house uh, really a lot um, so here we have the low voltage transformer and then we have the solar panels and we have our low voltage solar array um, so this is how it looks um, from the outside at least um, so I know this looks uh, really crowded but it's the smallest way to set this up um, to take up at, uh, at least um, the least amount of space um, and I'm pretty happy with it so here we have the last diamond pipe so here we see the low voltage solar array and the rest will go through the other exit and that's in this case the white exit the white exit is going up uh, to the roof up and over the roof and as we can see here it's a bit hard to see but there is our chest <laughs> so that's where the uh, low voltage solar arrays go and uh, that's where all the rest goes and it goes back into the chest um, we made uh, I have to thank Vicky for this we he made this uh, complete lighting system uh, in the floor and in the ceiling uh, that is connected uh, to the switch that is up here and um, when you switch it it will turn off the redstone engines and it will switch the lighting so that we have the nice blue lighting the blue connected with the solar yeah we do have some aesthetics in here we make it look beautiful uh, so this is the input uh, it's coming from the redstone engines and going into the system here um, we need to set up copper as well and uh, we also have to make this extra um, overflow system here because we need the copper elsewhere for the low voltage solar uh, of the low voltage transformer that's the only difference if you want to make the low voltage solar uh, array assembly line um, the rest is completely the same uh, except that you need two extra uh, as, uh, automatic crafting tables. So uh, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, 
I think this is uh, pretty much it. Uh, I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching this video. And please like and subscribe to our channel to see our upcoming videos. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please leave a comment and we'll try to make it. And thanks again. Bye.